All right, welcome back, Physics 40B. To, this is week two, a uh, series of explainer videos. Um, week two consists of fluids. That's the main topic, and then the learning. One of the learning objectives is to apply the continuity equation and Bernoulli's equation to systems of ideal fluid flow, and that's basically what's going to be happening in number 66. And we're going to go over that. So the question reads: Air flows through a tube shown in Figure 14.66. Here's the figure, and at a rate of uh, 1200 centimeters cubed per second assume that air is an ideal fluid and it's asking what is the height of mercury in the right side of the youtube so when we look at the figure it gives us the, the information that we need to solve the problem it gives us the diameter of the big pipe the diameter of the small pipe it gives us the flow rate and it gives us the element which is mercury um, and then here's a list of the information that we know so we know the density of mercury is 13,600 kilograms per meter cubed we know the density of air is 1.2 kilograms per meter cubed and then we know that the area of a tube can be found with the equation pi times the radius squared. And then also it gives us the flow rate, which is uh, 1200 centimeters cubed per second. Nice. So for the approach, basically the first step is to find the speed. We need to find the velocity that the air is traveling at. We need to find how fast it's going. So we can do that with the equation velocity is equal to flow rate divided by area and like I said area is equal to pi times the radius squared now before we plug anything in to this equation we need to make sure that everything's in base units so for the flow rate we just got to convert the 1200 centimeters cubed into meters cubed and basically you just divide that by 100 cubed and you end up with this value right here and then for this one the diameter of the big pipe it's in centimeters you just divide by 100 and you'll get meters and then the diameter of the small pipe, it's in millimeters, so you divide by a thousand and then you'll get this value. Awesome. So with these calculations, all you have to do is plug it into the equation. So this is our flow rate, which is the which we found right here. And then it's being divided by pi times the radius. So we're gonna divide these values by two, which is why this is 0.1 and this is 0 0.002. And then we're gonna get these values. So we're gonna get 3.8 meters per second and 95.5 meters per second. We're almost done. So for the next step, uh, we already calculated velocity. So now we can start to apply Bernoulli's equation, which looks something like this. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna show you how to isolate the variables or the steps involved, but basically what you have to do is get this P1 and this P2 on one side of the parenthesis and everything else on the other side. And then just eliminate this PGH and the PGH on this side. Just don't even use them. So just use just use P2 plus one half uh, rho V squared. And then this one, don't use the PGH, not yet. Not yet. So after you've done that, your equation is gonna look like this. So this is what I just showed you, but it just looks a little messy. And this is uh, delta P is basically P2 minus P1. That's why I said to get them on one side because when you have them on this side, you can just label it as a change in P, which is pressure. And if you plug this straight into a calculator, you're gonna end up with this number. And it should be negative because when fluids increase in velocity, pressure drops. So that makes sense. So the final step with this new number that you got, it, Five uh, five thousand four hundred sixty three point four pascals. That's the pressure value. Um, you could plug it into this equation. So the change in pressure is equal to the uh, to the density times gravity times the height. Uh, and this density applies to the density of the fluid. In this case, it's mercury. So we have density of mercury, we have gravity, and we have the change in pressure. So we only need h. So we just isolate h and the equation ends up looking like this. You plug in your values and then you'll get 0 0.041 meters. And then you can leave it at that or you can convert it to centimeters. It doesn't matter, but it's about 4.1 centimeters. And then that's it. Good stuff, guys.